Welcome to a Thrumnose video review and talk about a haul that I ended up getting and I'm gonna beard. Um I'm gonna be getting into some details of some stuff, but I got a mess of stuff back here. Yes, it's cost me a pretty penny. But considering what it would have cost me if I pieced these out, I'm paying overtime. Not on a credit card or anything like that. It's just an honest payment to a friend and a collector. Um, and possibly maybe getting something very big. Fingers crossed. If he decides to get rid of one. Now, on the other hand, um, seriously in love with everything that's here. I'm not 100% sure if... Uh, I'm sure that everything that's mitten sealed has got everything. One of the boxes has a bunch of stuff stuck in it. And the cat's playing with my shadow on that wall. It's weird. Anywho. And one of the other uh, characters are... Um, not mitten sealed... It's still got the weapons and the missiles that are sealed in the box. But, um... And one item I just picked up because it was ha! Because I had to get it because it's just funny. Now, again, what I have back here... He didn't give me the eBay listing prices of... Hey, here's what it sold for! Or, here's what it's bidding for! Or, here's lowball... No, we... He looked through some stuff, he looked through some numbers, knowing my number of skills when it comes to specific Transformers, and what Mitten Seal box actually goes for, and the collection, and sun damage, and wear on the box, and this, and that, and the other thing, and the third. So, what I did was, is that he came up with a number, and the price, and said, hey, by the way, um, thank you Facebook, um, he gave me a price, and then I brought... 36 homemade chocolate chip cookies over with me and said, That's some cookies! And he... No, the, the cookies really didn't have much to do with it. He didn't get a chance to. He was kind of uh, going through some stuff and needed to not eat certain things for a little while, and now he can have cookies again, so I brought over a 36 count of beautifully homemade chocolate chip cookies, and these things are phenomenal. Um, if anyone really wants to delve into that... I could probably end up talking to people about that, but I don't know. I don't know where the food people are anymore. I used to be able to sit there and babble about food or this or that and the other thing in my later, vi my earlier videos, especially the root beer burgers. Those were good. But between my lemonade and these chocolate chip cookies, anyways, enough ADHD in here. So what I have back here is a haul of... Transformers Energon and Robots in Disguise of mind-blowing proportions. It's costing me a pretty penny for what I normally do. But what it's worth, this haul is better than any Comic-Con haul. Yes, I am still talking about Psycho Robo from 1963 that I got for $10.00. Which should have gone for like 75 but I still, even though it's got chrome wear and screw issues and rust and no weapons and like two stickers left on it. But it's still in good condition. The, the tire, the rubber tires are still in 100% perfect pristine condition, so I'm not even complaining. Bless you, Ruby. Dog sneezing behind me, the cat's using the cat box and or chasing my shadow on the wall. Does anyone else understand this ADHD shit? Anywho. So, without further ado, before I babble too much further, because, again, I've got to cut this short for TikTok, and then eventually, YubaTube it. So. The cat's loud in his box. I'm sorry. Be right back. We're going to flip the camera around and... Yeah. Now we're going to go through some bibs and bobs, kind of like this, but here we go. This is a box full of mixed stuff. Yes, there's a Robots in Disguise 
Spy Changer, Ultra Magnus, the Optimus is in here. I think that's the Dark Cyburn. Not entirely sure. And yes, Rail Spike is in here. Um, there are some other stuff that's in here. We're going to go through that on a separate video. Again, stuff to kind of sort of go through. Um, and then, not mint and sealed box, but we're getting there. Kind of sort of mint and sealed, but not really. This is uh, Scorponok from Energon. A little sun faded in the box, but I don't care. I'm not a box person. It still has his missiles. Yes, this Scorponok is fantastic. It's oops, bumping the camera. Not used to things under my chin. This Scorponok does the whole Scorpion jet, not base mode, and robot. Yes, this is sun faded. Much loved toy. Can't wait to crack into this some bit. Then, we're going to get into the more of the fun stuff. Yes, I know. Some people are already oogling on what's there. Now, I don't know where to stick things because I'm trying to do this all live and in one go, and it's not going to really happen. Anyways, I ended up getting a mint in seal, the perfectly freaking back metal chromed version of Galvatrons from Robots in the Skies with 10 modes. 10! You know, the the Wyvern, the, the Dragon with Wings mode, the Boat mode, the Elephant mode, the Jet mode, the Car mode, the Hand mode, with the working gimmick of Claw action, you're scared of the Claw. And then another Wyvern type four-legged Dragon mode, uh, Robot mode, Jet mode, again, Bat mode, so... Again, every mode you could possibly... An advertisement for the same character I have down on the floor. Um, and then the two-headed dragon mode. The, 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 the water ski boat mode. You know, whatever they can possibly try to actually get into this into one package deal. I mean, look at his stats. I mean, his stats just, you know... They're freaking tens everywhere. Freaking tens. Just ten, 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 ten. Anyways... <laughs> This is actually a holy grail, kind of, almost, really, because Vac Metal Chrome Galvatron in box. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to open this one at all. But the box has been, you know, tattered, beaten. It's got scuffs, scratches, sticky. I may have just opened it. Although, I don't really want to touch, you know... Oh, God, what year was this thing? Oh, quickly, where's the year? Where's the year? I know somebody's already probably typed it in the comments. But you know what, I don't care. 2001! This thing is 23 years old. In box. Never touched. Has wire twist ties. With a blister package. Anyways, moving on. I know, I know, I know. Y'all are still screaming about a couple of things that are in here. We have... We'll get to that in a minute. How about Robots in Disguise box set Walmart exclusive landfill? Okay. So, uh, not entirely sure their names off the top of my head. I know one of them's named Grimlock. Hey, look at the back. Oh, throw it. Just throw it. Just just throw it. That was a teaser. Um, so you have uh, Wedge, Grimlock, High Tower, and Heavy Load. All done in G2... Or the, the yellow... Um, Devastator... Oh, shoot me now. I can't remember his name. But the yellow color scheme of the Autobot um, Constructicon Devastator group... Um, yes, this is still the horrible transformation of the three-part combine or four-part combiner they had, but the the twist ties, uh, the rubber or plastic off the twist ties has started to, with the rubber sh straps have started to break and fail on it. Um, this whole box set, Walmart exclusive, instead of getting the Skittle colored one, um, this box is absolutely. Sun damage to heaven's gate of bright sun damage -y ness But 
it still does the, oh, one can be the chest, or one is the chest, and one can be legs, and one can be arms, or two can be arms, and one can be, I don't remember. I think one's like the, the main body, arms, legs, and then it can all do that switcheroo of which one can be which color, or which part. So again, you, you got him as legs, and one as arms, and one as arms, or both of these as legs, and this one as another arm or leg, and in this mode it's him as the two arms, and these guys as the two legs. But it, it does all... It's... I, again, this is... This is sporting year... Crap, where's the year on this one? Uh, 2002, so this one's 22 years old as a collector's box set. And this is probably going to go in my collection. Now we're going to get into the good stuff of Energon. Um, there is another Robots in Disguise back here, but I'm going to get to that now. Because this is Ruination. Decepticon Ruination uh, Transformers Robots in Disguise, black, white, gray camo of Bruticus, but a ruination. Um, Decepticon, again, you know, you've got Brawl, Swindle, um, 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 Vortex, Blastoff, and, oh, good lord, probably they don't have his right name on here, Mega Octane, which is not right. Uh, you know, but then again, this is Ruination, so it is Rollbar as the tank, Armahide as the Jeep, which, huh, I didn't notice this till just now, <laughs> as I kicked the camera stand. That's the robot mode for the Swindle, or the Armahide. Actually, they got the tank. Nope, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The tank is supposed to be over here with him. It's supposed to be armor hide as the tank. Armor hide as the tank. Which is these two. These two are the Jeep, which is supposed to be roll bar. Wow, whoever took these stock photos are a moron. You got Rotor, Movor, a shuttle named Movor. I mean, really. And then you've got Mega Octane. This is the Ruination G1. And I mean, look at how gangly they did the legs. Oh, they mistransformed the legs for a pose. Oh, such horror. The people that I do know that did the Robots in Disguise packaging really didn't pay attention to the articulation of the times. Nor did they actually look into old school Transformers to get the proper details. But, again, this is... <laughs> oh, so freaking old and fugly, but I love it. And it does Scramble City as well, because this is G1, Bruticus Mold, done as Ruination, with the black and white gray camo scheme, as you can see. Because, you know, it is what it is. Wire ties. I mean, this one was reissued out. I can't remember how many times... But all their weapons are still up there. The platforms are in there. The guns, everything is all here. Again, this might be something I may not open. And, yeah, price tag, twenty four eighty eight, Walmart exclusive. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's funny. They picture... They pictured red guns... No one has red guns or a red rotor. No, nothing. Nothing here is red. It's all black and silver and gray. Now, moving on from that, that was all the Robots in Disguise stuff that I can recall. Now we're going to get into Energon, which I did get the second version, upgraded version of Perceptor, which I am going to open this one because this is a really cool combining uh, Autobot team for the kids. And now you got them done as a four-wheeler... A uh, hovercraft thing for grinder. 
Sure Shock is a four wheeler now, and High Wire is a actual like motorcycle instead of a scooter. That's what he was. He was a scooter. He was a hoverboard. He was the scooter. Now I remember scooter, hoverboard, and pedal bike beforehand. I would have loved to get my hands back on that Rodimus, but I couldn't. But we're going to get into some more really, really awesome goodies. And one, I am going to kind of sort of go back and hide a little bit because that one's a awesome, awesome thing. But those of you who caught that actually saw it. But first off, what is in this? Look at this. Look, look. look. It, it's, it's fucking Energon Megatron with his dead former self cannon tank. This, as far as I'm aware, obviously, mint and seal box with the actual twist ties, plastic, all that good stuff, everything's intact. Um, I don't know if the sound effects work or not, because again, mint and sealed box, and again, this thing is pushing 21 years old. It's now old, this Megatron is now old enough to drink. You know what's not old enough to drink? His son. Yes, I literally just went out to Target and picked up a Energon Universe Core Class Megatron because I have his dad. Need I say more? I had to. And by the way, this was only five fifty at tar uh, uh, Target. Target was doing some seriously um, interesting clearance, so I paid five fifty for this one. I could have gotten um, Studio Series Ironhide for nineteen ninety seven, but I passed up on it. We went to a Walmart, and let me tell you, I'm kicking myself in the rear end because they wanted thirty five ninety seven. Or thirty five eighty eight for Studio Series Ratchet, Studio Series Ratchet, which I could have gotten at Target for twenty nine ninety seven. I might have said nineteen ninety seven, but it's twenty ninety seven. Sorry. Now, what is Energon Megatron? Not without a son. But without his enemy, Optimus Prime. This is the Walmart, I believe, exclusive Optimus Prime, which has the Midnight Strike Blue. It's the Power Links Optimus Prime. It's got the Midnight Darker Blue and the Chrome Out Minicon, which... I'm not 100% sure. Yes. Uh, Conra spark plug? Sure. I thought his name was Leader One, but Leader One was the actual um, Minicon that came with, I believe, Armada Megatron. That's the tank mode they both come with. They both come with... The, the the Armada Megatron as the tank. He basically wears himself as his weapon, which is weird. Anyways, but what's this Optimus Prime without Overload and Jet Fire? Power Links Jet Fire. I couldn't find a Power Links version of Overload in that actual set. But I got the original. So, with that being said, I couldn't find this anywhere. This is another Walmart exclusive version of a character. He's got all his lights and sounds. He's got his mini con, his shield piece. Yes, he does the whole pants mode for Optimus Prime with the new chest plate with overload as a actual connection and connector part 
this is all going to be displayed proudly. I'm going to need another shelf in this house. Um, this box is a little on the ding side. Now, if I can reach over here, sorry if you guys are hearing it back and forth because I'm using multiple microphones with this phone. And then overload in his deliciousness. He's going to have the transformation sounds. Hopefully the batteries are still good. Maybe, maybe not. But you can do this, that, this thing. Power link, shoulder cannons, and the third plus, you know, roll out. Why not? Big huge behemoth machinery unit pulling a shuttle. Robot, headmaster. Here we go. Um, but yeah, that is everything except one. What is the number one thing that everybody, every single buddy, wants out of a specific toy line? A very, very sought after, oh, big boy here, another wonderful piece here, oh. love me some Galvatron, even though 10 modes, I mean, are, are, are we kidding, 10 modes. 10, like, you can't even see that because of the glare of the camera, flash, it's just going to shine off of it, but 10 modes, really? Some of these are a stretch. If anybody wants me to review this, I will gladly open this out of the box if I get enough people that want me to review this. One I am going to review is definitely the Scorponok. The bibs and bobs, I'm going to try to do an unboxing review of this mess. I will do a review on Core Class with his daddy. <clears throat> I will do a review of these guys in their horrific articulation. I know that toy guy did the original not too long ago of Landfill, but I want to do this. But... What is the number one Transformers Robots in Disguise sought out figure that you can't get your hands on specifically? I have a third party version, but unfortunately, the dragon head fell off. The dragon fell off the arm. That piece is a piece of junk. I may just glue it in place and call it a day. Now, I do have Transformers Earthrise. Transmetal 2 Megatron. A new version of the articulation. I wanted an older version of this mold. Or, an older version of this character. So I was trying to get my hands on it. And I went on eBay and this and that and the other thing on the third. And tried to find myself an old version of Megatron. Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron, to say the least. However, I could not find one that was less than $300. And I found something even better. I found something even better. Yes, this is Cryotech. The Vac Metal Purple and Plum and Bluish Hued Cryotech. This is the original Fox Kids box. Yes, Fox Kids right there. Of Cryotech. His, for all intents and purposes, it's it's Transmetal 2 Megatron. Dragon mode, robot mode, wheeled car thing mode. His robot mode. His little, what the hell do they call the thing? Energon crystal capsule in his chest. Ice beam... Or pedo launcher on the top of his head. Does he really actually have a missile in his head? I don't remember that. There's not a lot I remember of this toy. And he's got this rubber neck. Oh, I wonder if that rubber is any good. There's a little switch on his back right there. That little black nub that you actually flicker down and the head's supposed to wiggle waggle with the rubber. I wonder if that's still intact. Because that whole light teal color... Like, not this teal color here, but this whole teal color that all this fact metal chrome is attached to. That's a rubber. That is a specific rubbery material to allow articulation for the dragon head. I can already see 
vac metal flaking. Not that's a pin right there. That's vac metal flake right there. Or a miss dribble of the vac metal. This may already be suffering vac metal chrome wear in package. Which has been known to happen. Even has his uh tail down there that's all in that soft rubber as well. Um I mean, considering that this guy is what was that say down here? Deploy wings, battle control, thra thrashing neck, ice beam torpedo launcher. So I think he does have a torpedo launcher, which technically his head is up his butt. That beam launcher is going to come off his back. Anywho, um, this is Hasbro 2001. So this is, again, 23 years old. This is kind of a, a holy thing. I mean, it is a beautiful blue dragon. However, this box is sun damaged beyond repair. So I'm going to crack this open and display this proudly right next to my Beast Wars Kingdom. I, did, I said Earthrise earlier. It's Kingdom Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron. It's going to go right over here with my other two dinosaur um, skeleton characters of Beast Wars. Um, yeah. I need to do more of that stuff there, but it's going to replace... This, this, this sadly broken third-party knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff of Cryotech. This, all his joints were shit. That one's cracked. Not the ball joint here. I did thicken that ball joint up. But, there is a micro crack. You're not going to see it in here. I thickened it up with a special thickener. And then it just turned, it, with this plastic, it reacted and started turning this funky, milky color, and then broke. There's a pen that is, you can get it on AliExpress. It's a ball joint um, repair unit for Gundams, which I recommend for any loose joints on figures. Everything else tightened up nicely, except this ball joint. It just loosened and broke. This is a beautiful, beautiful figure. The, I had to super glue the swords in because the swords cracked as well. Done. Just done with that. But this figure was beautiful in package. Beautiful by concept. Transformation is horrible. Changing it into mode is just a nightmare. Trying to get it to hold its shape. And then on top of that, you've got... You've got... The central piece of the dragon... Just hanging down in his yaya region. I mean, it's fine like this, but the moment you try to pose him, you've got a yaya blade in the way of everything. So, this thing is just. If I were to vote yay or nay of owning it, yes, it looks great with a cryotech kind of like, you know, dragon head on the arm instead of like the whole arm being the dragon head with no hand. But in all actuality, get the original if you want to spend the 89 or 120 for it. But this, this knockoff for 30, I think that's what it was worth. Don't. Just don't. Bargain bin, if you find it at a local store, bargain bin, 5 bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, go for it. Spending $30, I'm grateful for the person who turned around and sent this to me for free. Um, I have an unknown user that seems to send me stuff. Yes, it's got great little bibs and bobs and hands and extra pieces that I had to glue together because they were all falling apart. It's not worth it. They're Optimus Primal and their Nemesis Optimus Primal or Primal Prime, which would be Optimal Optimus in Primal Colors. Basically, there's two versions. There's Optimus Prime... There's three, actually. There's Burning Prime. No, there's four. 
There's Burning Primal, which is an all-red version of Optimus Primal, done, um, sorry, a Burning Prime, which is an all-primal, transmetal, optimal Optimus, done in all-red. There's the Optimal Optimus done in prime colors, which is the red, blue, and silver, then there's the Optimal Optimus Primal Prime, which was done in original primal colors, black, silver, and the red trim, and white. And then there's Optimal Optimus, regular Optimal Optimus, and his original garish orange and blue and green and all sorts of other colors. That mold doesn't matter if you get the $20 version that's going on AliExpress, or if you get the $400 one that's going off of Amazon. That figure is phenomenal. Yes, get it cheaper the better. Plastic quality and tolerances are going to be hit or miss. But if you take the time to take the screws apart, tighten up some of the ball joints, and work on it slowly, you'll get a phenomenal figure. This, not phenomenal. This, this, this abomination is beautiful standing still. Touch it. Disaster. This is gorgeous. Back metal, I'm hoping, holds. Because this puppy is going to be proudly, 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 I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to turn around and say proudly. Proudly going to be, you know, put a beginning. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this guy right next to my Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Kingdom Megatron from Beast Wars. With all that being said, yes, I'm sorry, that was a kind of a close-up. I was trying to get a little... Anywho, with that all being said, and that's a huge mess of stuff that I got for damn dirt cheap. And I don't mean like dirt cheap as in I paid $5. No, this was approaching dangerous level of the two realm of four Ditch and brought it down to just touching that uncomfortable edge of four Ditch. And I got a fair price on Mitten Sealed. I got a fair price. One second. A fair price on all of them. I'm not complaining about paying almost a thousand dollars for all of this. What it would have been was almost two grand. Um, this wasn't a decision that was made lightly because the amount of Armada and Robots in Disguise combiners that he had that were on box. Now he was missing A2, no, A3 and A4. Those of you who know, know. And he was also missing C3 and C4 of another combiner. Those two parts he's looking for in a pile of loot, plus he had something that was on the realm of uh, toddler sized. And if he decides to get rid of one of them, I'm so begging, begging to buy it. I have a space specifically for a 80 pound behemoth. I don't know if it's actually 80 pounds or not, but I mean, when you get down to brass tacks, something that's about the size of a toddler that can actually, you know, be wielded in a baby carriage, it's got to be pretty close to almost 80 pounds. I mean, that's a lot of freaking plastic. And I flunked it. Yes. Sorry, I'm giving into the dark side. I really want that plastic. It's, there's a plastic crack. It's there. Okay. She's snickering at me. It's great. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys have actually watched this entirety. Um, if you did, cool. You're as crazy as I am. Um, also, this haul... Again, like I said, with the amount of robots in disguise, I mean, he had alternators, he had, uh, oh, oh, he had, like, 
I love Jeeps, I love Dragons, I love Transformers, and he had both the red and green, yes, Hound and, I believe, Rollbar, um, as, um, alternators. Now, I remember the nightmare of transforming alternators, um, Hound. And then I looked over, and he had Skids, and he had Tracks. And I believe he also had Ravage. The second one, not the first one. The second one was the one that turned from the... Uh, what the hell was it called? Uh, the Jaguar car into an actual Jaguar, which was fitting. Um, however... <whistles> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. That was also a nightmare to transform. The other one kind of sort of did the whole Beast Wars thing where he transformed, and he had, what, Night Striker or Night Shadow kids uh, in the Armada series? Um, Cheetor, which was the Transmetal 2 Cheetor without the Vac Metal done in, in, in Night something other colors, which literally was... Um, like a dark navy blue and gray. It was just flat colors. But he had a Minicon that plugged into his jet port from his vehicle flight mode, which made sense because a cat ran with jets and flew. Then he had Night Strike kid's color of Transmetal 2 Air Razor, which was a sparrow that turned into a boat plane? A pontoon plane. Now, that's my question. Why would you have a transmetal that could already fly in beast mode turn into a beast that also flies? Or, vehicle. A beast that flies that turns into a vehicle that flies. Yeah, it can land in water. It's redundant. Why? The, the bird would land on land or a tree or something and then turn into a robot then run off. The, the, why would you want to turn into a plane? You're going to fly faster? Or a bee. I, I understand if, like, if you look at Transmetal 2 Wasminator, I understand why they went with the red and black concept because a version of Starscream was red and black. And he also was touched by Starscream's spark when Starscream possessed him in the Beast Wars episode. So that being said, him transmetaling into a jet from the the robot B would make sense because he was tainted by the spark of Starscream. Transmetal 2 Optimus Prime turning into a monkey that gets a hoverboard. That makes sense because his original monkey mode actually had, or his robot mode had jetpack. But being able to fly with his uh, booster feet and or his ability of the hover skateboard or surfboard, that made sense. A bird that turns into a plane with no context of flying doesn't make sense. Now, if you go even further into this, and I know I'm going on a tangent, but I'm going to make sense out of this, the only transmetal between Tigertron and Air Razor that made sense was a bittersweet episode when Tigertron and Air Razor were both sucked out of their bodies and zapped off by the Vok, those who know know, their sparks wandered off into the, the, the ether for wherever. They never really did that whole ride thing with, you know, like Optimus did, where, you know, Rhinox went off on a dream journey to go find him in before it reached the All Spark. But instead, the Vok reformatted, and trans... No, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's get this right. Fusord, Air Razor, and Tigertron into one character, or body, and then transmetalized it. Because of the radiation of their technology, and because they're technically spirit energy, so their tachyons actually interfered with the fusing of the two designs, which created the... Transmetal 
Fusor of Tigertron and Airazor. Later on, where the Vok were evicted out of the body and Airazor and Tigertron sparks merged into one as a holy trinity of their affection and <laughs> into the body, and boom, Tigerhawk was born with some serious cool powers because one of the Transformers slings balls of lightning kind of like, you know, Hadouken or, um, you know, like, mm, Kamehameha. He turned around, whoop, ball, and holy crap, that weapon was great. They kill him off. They made a great toy. They killed him off. They made an awesome toy, and then they brought it back for Legacy, United, got one coming. But they killed the character off. Literally four episodes of an epic character. Okay. What is wrong with Hasbro and their marketing team for this? I, I really want to know. Because they're giving us Studio Series figures in every mode of death from Transformer, The Transformers, the movie from 86. Every character that has lived, Optimus, Ratchet, Wheeljack, Hound, I'm not going to go on, but you get it. Every single one of them has a hole in their chest or upper part of their body, brawn, <laughs> shoulder wound, I'm dead. Why are we traumatizing ourselves with dead Optimus? Okay, reenact that scene to make Rod... If Rodimus is your character, cool. Put Hot Rod right next to Optimus when he ends up, you know, passing the Matrix on to, you know, Ultra Magnus. Right. Next to Optimus' cold, dead carcass. Does anyone else get the point of cynicals? Or is it cynicism or cyn well? I'm they're being cynical, so that'd be cynicism. Thank you. I was right with my train of thought. My brain just had a wreck, a train wreck. Sorry, I'm staring at train bots. So my brain just went. Bleh. Anywho, point being is is that they're literally pulling so much cynicism in this last set of figures coming out of Studio Series, but we got a dead studio series of Ratchet before we got an actual release of Ratchet studio series in proper. Which, the dead one doesn't use clear plastic in the chest cavity <laughs> and upper torso as the other one does. So, I don't know. Anyways, enough of me babbling about that stuff. But the point being that I was originally making is, is they're killing off good characters. They need to start seeing the actual pan out of the character and see how many people actually buy the figure based on the character before they turn around and actually just kill the character off because they <laughs> sales on that after they're like, oh, well, he died. He was cool, but he died. Optimus Prime was cool for years before they killed him off in the movie. Like two years, but still. And an iconic character who came back from the grave multiple times. That dude's harder to kill than a set of house flies that you think you only got one in the house. Meanwhile, you have an entire army. Wait a minute. Does that make the Seekers flies? I'm just going to leave you with that note because I just went down an ADHD roll that someone else is going to be like, wow, the Seekers are flies. At first you got one, then you got three, and the next thing you know, you got a horde of them. That's how we got the Insecticons. Anywho, sorry. Again, I'm going to shut up now. You guys have yourself a wonderful wonderful evening, day, night, or whatever the case may be. I'm hoping that people like this haul. Um, if people are going to scream at me to tell me, don't open that one! It's worth more money in the box even though it's faded! Scream that in the comments to let me know. On top of that, if you want to see one of these specific uh, characters actually reviewed, let me know. Um, if anyone knows where I can get my hands on an actual proper power links overload, I would love to know because I know that Jetfire, the original one, was just an all-white one, didn't have that blue on it, and Optimus Prime didn't have, obviously he was red and blue instead of this blue, 
Dark Midnight Blue with the red, which makes them the Power Links one, which I don't really care two shits if they're still in the bag, or box, or whatever. Those guys are all coming out. G1 Bruin Nation, on the other hand, in the Robots in Disguise line, there is a screw-up on the box due to the fact that they actually have the wrong robot mode with the wrong vehicle mode, which roll bars the Jeep, not the tank. They put the tank in front of the robot of the Jeep, which I find funny. If you didn't see that, go back and watch that part. Um, and then, yes, I'm going to do uh, Daddy Megatron from Energon with Papa. Or, Daddy with ba with Son. Because, why not? I just found it funny that he still actually carries his tank self from Arma or, yeah, Armada <laughs> as his arm cannon. I guess that makes it cannon. <sighs> Sorry. Alright, I'm really gonna go. Love you guys. Love y'all. Please, comments, like, sub, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I know I've been a mess. I have a whole bunch of other Transformers over here that I know I haven't got to to review. I have a knockoff Bruticus that is beautiful. I have the upgrade kits for the Dinobots from Core Class. I know people don't like them, but you know what? That set's freaking beautiful. Plus, I have water slides I picked up from AliExpress. Let me tell you, oh my god, the water slides are Chef's Kiss. They make them almost Studio Series level paint job with a little twist because they're water slides, not freaking stickers. Especially for something that small. Um, I also have um, Minasaur. Um, the Legacy Minasaur set. Um, was thinking about getting the actual full parts to start buying like Dead End and Sideswipe and... or not Sideswipe. Dead End... Uh, Was it Sides? Or no, it was Dead End, Breakdown, and Drag Strip. And get their G2 forms. But they're yet to announce G2 of the other two. So, I may track them down and keep them on hand until they say, We're going to release the other two as G2s and then sell them. Which, I don't think they will because... Something's larger is on the docket, and I think I'm sniffing aerial bots because I've been seeing a few people with reviews, uh, especially TJ Omega, with a video decoding of certain numbers coming in and stuff, saying things of... But my theory behind that is actually quite cool because what they did with Minasaur and with um, Motormaster is they made hint, hint, parts to look like the, the full truck but the trailer turns into a base I think they're going to do the same thing with Silverbolt and make him a Voyager class figure that detaches out of a commander class size Condor which is my favorite jet I did a whole report and drew the whole pictures and stuff when I was I was like nine and did a huge report on that but that design is awesome because if they do what I think they're going to do they're going to detach the front section of the Condor, and that would be the main robot of Silverbolt, and the back side will be a base of some kind. That's my prediction with all the accoutrement and builds and bids and bobs is going to make up the rest of him. That's my theory. I don't care about anyone else's theory. Let's see what the actual proof of concept and design is going to be. But, sound off your ideas and suggestions of what they're going to do with this whole idea of making an actual legacy-style full-on combiner in the vein of Minasaur from Legacy. Let's keep this rolling because these figures are getting better and better. And oh, I'm stoked for uh, the, uh, what is it, the, the deluxe class size Optimus Prime G1 plastic version for $25 they just uh, they have posted on um, uh, Hasbro um, it's kind of like a downgrade from Missing Link being the die cast metal sort of like collector's version of Optimus Prime with the trailer as the toy version and the cartoon one being the just the truck but they have a G1 version that's a figure and I'm stoked for it I went to go pre-order it I said nah and then the next day I was like, yeah, I want to pre-order it. 
Guess what? Pre-orders are sold the f*** out! When you think you don't want to pre-order something, pre-order it anyway. Cancel it if you change your mind. If the pre-order's still up and doesn't say sold out, pre-order it. You have time to cancel an order. Expect at least, at least a month from the date they say they're going to be released. But don't, don't have remorse for not <coughs> pre-order. <coughs> this is where my throat starts going out because I've talked too much. <laughs> hey, what was the first clue? First five seconds of the video. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. I apologize. I rambled again for another extra ten minutes. Sorry. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you made it this far. Please, again, like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun jazz stuff. Let me know in the comments which ones you would like to actually see get opened or saved. I'm going to leave this video up for a little while, read the comments, and double-check before I actually crack anything specifically open outside of the loosed box of the two of Scorponok and that Energon train robot in... Not Energon. The, the robots in the sky train boy and that box of little figures. That'll be the next video. But the other ones, I'll wait until I hear from you guys. Possibly. Love y'all. Love your faces. Peace.